this is working? You should probably fluff up that pillow. That blanket, is that okay? That's fine. Let's talk about vibrato. 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 Can't be too thin. Can't be too wide. Cause I'm gonna fall asleep. It's gotta be just right. That's nice. Somewhere in between four beats per second and five beats per second. That's pretty good. That's three beats per second. That's not, that's not gonna do it. It's really, that's pretty bad actually. Six is okay. It's a little bit too electric for my taste, but you know, in the end, I think a beautiful vibrato is somewhere between four and six beats per second. Maybe four is a little slow. I will, I will redact that from the record. Retract? I don't really know the, the right word. I just wanted to talk about a few things that I see a lot when I'm teaching, and also things that will help you get a better vibrato. First, your knuckles. Your knuckles are going to have to be loose to make a nice vibrato. They have to be spongy. Very spongy. Spongy. You want to have the ability to have width in your vibrato. You want to be able to push down on these knuckles. You do little push-ups. One, two, three, four, eight, ten, forty-five. It'll be much more easy for you to access the vibrato when your knuckles are spongy. Everyone knows what a sponge is. Let's hope you know what a sponge is because if you don't know what a sponge is or what it feels like, we well, have bigger problems than... The other thing is people love to tense the fingers that they're not playing on. So let's say I'm playing on the uh, middle finger, the index finger, and I'm tensing all of the other fingers. It's gonna affect the beauty of the first finger vibrato. Like an example, if I am extending them while I'm playing the first finger, or if I'm crunching them, extending or crunching, extending or crunching, you see professional cellists do this all the time, but in the end, I think it's probably gonna be best if you just keep them where they are. The natural hand shape is really so effective. Let's say, shake out your hand, right? And then you look, you turn your hand over, and it's a beautiful hand shape. Look at that. Beautiful hand shape. You're born to play the cello. Wow. You can just grab that, put it on the cello, and instant cello, almost as good as instant ramen. We covered three things so far. So not too wide, not too thin, making sure that those knuckles are nice and spongy. Google image sponge. And then we have third thing, which is don't tense the other fingers when you're playing. Those are good things to live by. I'd say we should, you know, keep it at that. And uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of comments on this video about what you should have put in there, what you could have put in there. But you know what? I like to live life in a uh, forward direction, so I'm not gonna go back on this one. This is, uh, this is it. This is it. This is gonna be my only, no, I'm just kidding. I'm probably gonna make another vibrato video. Yeah, I would say I probably should.